So today I'm going to show you how to approach this SAT problem. So it's not very common for you guys to come across cubic polynomials just like this on the SATs because for the most part the SATs only deal with linear and quadratic polynomials but here it is a polynomial with a degree of 3 which is called a cubic polynomial. Now the problem states that x plus 2 is a factor of the polynomial that's given and it asks for the value of b. So the fact that x plus 2 is a factor, it means that the polynomial is divisible by x plus 2 with a remainder of 0. Now knowing that, we can apply the remainder theorem here in order to find the value of b. So the remainder theorem states that when a polynomial f of x is divided by a linear polynomial, for instance, x minus a, then f of a should be equivalent to the remainder. Now, if x minus a and x plus 2 are equal, that means that a should be equal to negative 2. So in order to find f of a, we can simply find f of negative 2 by plugging in negative 2 into x of the polynomial. Now once again, that should be equivalent to the remainder, which is equal to 0. Now when you simplify this, you should be left with one unknown variable, which is b in this case, and that's what you wanted to solve for. So using the remainder theorem, you get 54 as the value of b. Now using the remainder theorem would be the ideal strategy to use to solve this problem. But if you didn't know about the theorem, you could have used long division or synthetic division here. So I'm going to show you how I would solve this by using long division. So when you do long division, the point is to match the first term of the polynomial when the terms are listed in the decreasing order of degree to the first term of the factor. In order to do that, I must multiply by x squared. When I do that, I would get x cubed, but I must remember to distribute the x squared to the 2 as well, to the positive 2, so it becomes plus 2x squared. Now, simplify by subtracting, you get 12x squared plus bx plus 60. Once again, try to match the first term of the polynomial with the first term of the factor. I must multiply by 12x in order to get 12x squared. Now when I distribute that to the positive 2, I get plus 24x. When I subtract, I get b minus 24 times x plus 60. Now, I wouldn't know what to multiply by in order to match b minus 24 with x. However, what I know is that when I do multiply, I know my remainder is 0. Once again, I know that my remainder is 0 because they tell you that x plus 2 is a factor. It means that the polynomial is divisible by the factor with a remainder of 0. So in order to get 0, I must multiply by 30 to get positive 60 here, correct? Now, working backwards, that means that for the x term, I get 30x. Knowing that the remainder is 0, I can simply say that b minus 24 is equal to 30. They're equivalent. b must be equal to 54. So once again, if you knew long division or synthetic division, you could have approached this this way. But 
the remainder theorem would be ideal for this specific problem. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next videos.